so welcome to today's session so in today's session we are going to look at um, rectal examination so when it comes to rectal examination this procedure most you do it in men to assess the rectal as well as when you want to also check uh, to rule out uh, prostate cancer as well so as usual when it comes to this particular procedure the first thing that you do when you read the scenario uh, you of course get a plain paper because it will involve a bit of interaction with the client and then from there you move on to assessing the rectum. So you get a plain paper or somewhere to document and you once you sanitize of course you come to the client you get permission after getting permission you sanitize you get uh, a paper or something to document on and then you get some demographic data from the client. So you ask the client's name, the age, the address, the marital status, uh, the occupation, religion, as well as the education background. So once you get this particular information, it means that now you are ready now to move on to the uh, rectal examination itself. So you just sanitize and tell the client to say, I'll just get a chaperone uh, so that we can do this particular procedure together. So you find that uh, when it comes to rectal examination or exami uh, examinations involving exposing the client, you uh, need a chaperone just to maintain uh, the ethical boundaries and everything else. So uh, once you tell the client to say, I'll get a chaperone, you come back and then you are going to tell the client to say, I'll just kind of ask you to remove uh, uh, your, your clothes uh, so, and expose your buttocks and then lie on this examination bed so that I can examine you nicely and have screened to ensure privacy. So when the client lies, you can position them in, uh, in a lateral position, either left lateral position or right lateral position, depending on where you are standing as the person doing the examination. So once you position them in lateral position, you are going to ask the client to flex the knees let the patient flex, let the client flex the knees all the way up to the chest. They bend the knees like that all the way up to the chest. So by doing so, so I'll just use this organ for, for a female reproductive system. So by doing so, you find that now it will expose the NRC properly. So once the client does this, just get your examination gloves as usual and don't in the examination gloves. So your station will just have a few things. It will just have some examination gloves. Then it will also have some rectal gel. So once you're done in the examination gloves and you have taught the client to flex the knees all the way up to the chest, the first thing that you're going to start with as usual is inspection. So on inspection, you are focusing on the anus because that's the only thing you're examining at that particular moment during rectal examination. And probably you are going to use the, the index finger uh, when you are doing examination and it should go all the way in and you feel whatever you can feel. But before you start palpating and touching the client, the first thing that you start with is uh, inspection. So on inspection, you are going to say, I can't see any presence of rash. The first thing you are trying to rule out is just presence of uh, rash. And then apart from that, you are also trying to rule out hemorrhoids. So you also check to say, oh, I cannot see any presence of um, hemorrhoids. And you see basically blood vessels like protruding outward. Then apart from that, uh, or oh, looking like they are swollen uh, of sort. Then apart from that, you also try to say on inspection, I can also uh, not see any presence of anal fissures, which are just ulcers of the anal region. Then apart from that, you can say there is no bleeding that I can see and there is no fistula. So you find that fistula, some uh, internal organ may actually even protrude outward. And then from there, you also say I cannot see any abscess or any other abnormality. So on inspection, you try to rule out those things, whether you can see them or you can't see them. Then afterwards, now you are going to get the uh, rectal gel. So the rectal gel just looks like Vaseline uh, the way it is. Then you get the same rectal gel. You push in uh, this finger. You, you rub the rectal gel on the index finger. 
and after rubbing the rectal gel on the index finger are going to insert the index finger all the way so it should all the way go inside so once it goes in the first thing that you're going to do is palpate anteriorly so that you can palpate the prostate gland if this is a male client so you palpate anteriorly you go anteriorly or to the front or going to the frontal uh, part of the client and then you palpate for the prostate gland you feel whether the prostate gland is swollen or it has it is having the normal size or if the client is able to experience any pain at all so once you do that then you are going to start rotating the finger bit by bit rotating until you rotate 360 degrees as you are rotating you are feeling for any uh, any growths inside as well as uh, you are trying to rule out if the patient is experiencing any pain or any abnormality that you are feeling as you are rotating the finger in that particular manner and you rotate it all the way 365 degrees and then afterwards now you are also going while the finger is still inside you're going to ask the client to squeeze the anus or squeeze your finger so that you assess the muscle tone of the anal region so while it's inside you tell the client okay mr john i will just squeeze your anus or squeeze my finger and if they're able to do that then the muscle tone of the anal region is just okay if they can't do it it means that there is a problem with the muscle tone or secretion to the anal region then from there you are now going to withdraw the finger and once immediately you withdraw the finger check if there is any presence of blood or mucus or if it's just in feces and if it's feces just check the color because it should also have a normal color remember uh, what is passed on in feces is uh, stecobilinogen so it gives that greenish color of feces so you also check if just the color of feces is in normal then from there you are going to wipe you just get a ghost swab and wipe the anal region of the patient of the client and cover them and from there you give your uh, findings so you can just say uh, mr john i'm done assessing you and so far there are no abnormalities that we have seen uh, and uh, we we'll just go we we'll just advise you to continue coming for subsequent annual checkups and if you experience any pain or discomfort as you are defecating or anything be sure to come back to this facility so that we can assess you you even remove your gloves your examination gloves in that manner and then sanitize and document your findings as usual so when it comes to rectal examination that's so that you are checking for during this particular procedure